am a cyfle i'ch anerchi, yma yng Nghernarfon, un o'n hoff lefydd i yng Nghymru efos, dwi wedi gweithio yma, dwi chwarae yma. Mae'n dre arbennig iawn yna, nid dim ond oherwydd mae o fy'n hyn mae nhw'r golygfa i'r gorad o yn ysbon, er bod hynny efos yn, yn help. Na, mae'n arwbeth am Gernarfon, mae'r hyder Cymreig na yn hysgod Castell Edward y Cyntaf yn drawiadol i fi bob amser. A mae hyder yn rhywbeth sydd mor bwysig. Mae o'n rhywbeth da ni yng Nghymru falle yn drawiadol wedi bod yn, yn bryn ohono fo. Ac mae adeil a di yr hyder hwnnw yn yn cenedl yn un o'r prif res yma a gwnes i fy'n derfynu ymuno efo Plaid Cymru. Er mwyn cael cyfle i adeiladu hyder yn yn gallu i gymryd cyfrifoldeb am yn dyfodol yn hunain, tan bod ni yn cael ein hyswadio yn gyson, yn bod ni'n rhy wan, yn rhy glawd, yn rhy bach, neu'n rhy dop i wneud hynny. I adeiladu hyder, y gallwn ni osod llwybr Gwahanol ar gyfer ein cenedl er mwyn gallu cynnig gwell dyfodol i bawb yng Nghymru lle bynnag y maen nhw, beth bynnag i cefndir. Ond os dwi'n onest, mae'r hyder, yn hyder y cenedlaethol ni'n neu'n hytrach y ffydd sydd gen i falle yn bod ni yn symud i'r cyfeiriad iawn fel dwad, yn bod ni'n ara bach yn paratoi yn hunain am heriau'r dyfodol wedi mynd i deimlo yn beth digon prin uh, yn ddiweddar. Dwi'n ddim am dyna chi, ond yna ni'n deimlad bod yn byd i anna ni fel cenedl yn dioddo ergyd ar ôl ergyd yn pobl, a'n cymunedau mwyaf difreintiedig yn dioddo ymosodiad ar ôl ymosodiad gan lywodraethau Sam Stefan a chrylondeb y drefn credyd cymhwysol y prawf mwy a diweddar o hynny. Cymru y wlad rhyngwladol cael eu harwain i droi pefn ar bacteriaethau Ewropeaid sydd i bod mor werthfawr i ni. A senedd yn Llundain wedyn yn defnyddio y madawiad o'r Undeb Ewropeaid i dan seilio grymoedd senedd Cymru. Mae hyd yn oed Newsnight wedi ymuno yn y gêm o dan seilio yn hyder ni yn yn iaith a'n diwylliant ein hynnau. Na i ddim anghofio hynny am yn hir. Mi hyd yn oed y wodas yn efo llawer a chydwadol ddim yn gallu trafferthu cymryd seddi ar yr unig bwyllgor yn San Stefan sy'n wedi llwyr neu llio i drafod materion Cymraeg erbyn hyn. Cywilydd ar lun nhw. Cywilydd fel cynrychiolwyr o Gymru. Ond yna ni, mi gymryd ni i lle nhw. Ac am y tro cyntaf er ei oed a gan blaid Cymru ddau gynrychiolydd ar bwyllgor dethol materion Cymraeg tu'r cyffredin. Diolch byth am Benlic a Liz Sarl Roberts. Sôn am Benlic, da chi'n bach yn gyfarwydd efo'r enw nhw. Robin Bawr efo'r coffi Ben i Sam Stefan. Oedd mae modd yn gyfeifol am wneud y te a'r coffi yn y swyrfa yn y cynulliad. Tan neud efo gael ei ethol yng Ngheredigion, da ni'n sychedig ben. Mi gael panedes, pedwar mis. Ond sôn am ben, gadwch chi'n ddod yn ôl at y, at y cwestiwn yna o, o hyder. Nid yn unig mae hi'n hawdd gweithio ama i le da ni'n mynd fel gwlad yr yn heriau da ni wedi ac yn i wynebu, mae'n hawdd i ni fel blaid dolli hyder. Oedd mi oedd yr etholiad brys eleni yn un heriol. Mi oedd yn anodd gweld Cymru yn mynd i ddilyn patryma prydeinig neu fod yn fwy cywir, patryma Seisnig o Leidleisio. Ble i dyddiaeth dwy blaid yn gwasti a theimlad o warchau bron teimlo yn dirym weithiau. Ond cofiwch yn nghanol hynny i hogyn ifanc o Lambeth gael ei ethol yr aelod senegol Plaid Cymru Benna er ei oed ac i'r blaid gyrraf yn ôl mwy lefel uchaf er ei oed o ran nifer aelodau senegol. 
Nachdem wir die Hände, die man an Brot Story referiert, ich hielt. Die Ovian Hände, weil wir da sind. Und wir wollen uns bei der Kamera ein Heretikion, was nur der Licht. Er war ein Geist, ja, ein Neges, ja, ein Brotbrötet, ein Egni, ein Hier, ein Hütte. Ein Droid Blein, er hat mich dort bei der Kamera. Yn heredigio. Ac ar y droed blaen, mae'n rhaid i ni fel plaid wynebu heria y dyfodol. Yn unedig, yn ddisgybledig, ac efo'r nod o'n blaena yn gwbl, gwbl glir. Dwi yn gredinio mae di'n mond dan arweiniad plaid Cymru, hyderus, ymroddedig, weithgar, yn cael ei gofyn, I arwain llywodraeth Cymru, y cael ni weld y wlad yma yn dechrad o'r o'i chragen o ddibri ac yn mestyn am ddyfodol gwell dwi'n gwybod sy o fewn yn cyrraedu. I joined Plaid Cymru because of its ambitions for my country. Simple, really. I looked to Plaid Cymru for its clear cuts, dedication to seeking the best for communities in all parts of Wales. I want Wales and its people to feel empowered to face the future with a newfound confidence and a belief that we as a country, a real country, can take responsibility for our own destiny. Setting our own priorities to look after our old and vulnerable, able to help our young people map out a better future. Wales International in Outlook. Our future built on strong links that we forge with our neighbouring countries in these islands and across Europe. Oh, the stark contrast of that vision with the shut the borders, splendid isolation of hard Brexit Britain. And that's not to deny what happened in the vote last year, not at all. I accept the sentiment expressed through the ballot box that day in that rush job referendum that gave little time for a real assessment of what was at stake for Wales. But I think people get it now. As we look... As we look to the future, a newly confident Wales needs a newly confident Plaid Cymru. It's your party, wherever you are. If you think Wales is worth something, if our nationhood is something you value, you might have been born here, you might have moved here yesterday, you might speak Welsh, you might not, but if you believe you have a stake in Wales's future, let's do this together. party for all of Wales. No, not everybody sees that yet. It's our job to help people understand that. Our appeal can and must be broad. And it's the country, not the party that matters. Strange thing perhaps to say in a party conference, but I, I just happen to believe that Plaid Cymru has our best interests as a country at heart. This is about building momentum behind people and communities Wales-wide, not behind a political ideology. When we as a Plaid Cymru group and the Assembly go about our business under Leanne's leadership, it's all aimed at building up Wales in prosperity, in education, culturally, linguistically, our jobs, our life chances, our aspirations, our health. I want to, and I look forward to doing that in government, but for now it's our job as a strong opposition to hold Labour to account. At the same time, we can make some gains from opposition, some real gains. As Shadow Health Secretary, I know that workforce planning is one of the biggest challenges 
facing the NHS. It is shameful that Labour running the NHS in Wales for 18 years has taken its eye off the ball to such an extent that we now face a real crisis in terms of recruitment and retention of staff across so many parts of the health service, among doctors, nurses, and other health professionals. That's why I am determined not to let up at all in our campaign for a new centre to teach doctors here in the north of our country. We are desperate for doctors. We need to give more opportunities for young students from Wales to study medicine in Wales. And Plaid Cymru has a plan. Nearly 40%, two in every five, of all medical vacancies in Wales are here in the north. This has to be addressed for the sake of the service itself, for the sake of the hard-working staff, and of course, for the sake of patients. It's also hugely costly. Betsy Goodwiler is finding it impossible, year after year, to stay within budgets. In the last financial year, agency staff costs, including local doctors and agency nurses, soared from £33 million to over £40 million. That's just here in the north. Wales-wide health boards are spending millions of pounds every week on agency staff. And at the same time, agencies are profiting. Well, let me announce that Applied Cymru Government would want to take the profit out of agency staffing. <laughs> As Health Secretary, I would make sure we have a not-for-profit model for supplying agency doctors and nurses as we build up the longer-term resilience and sustainability of our full-time workforce. I came into politics not that long ago. Seems like a long time ago. I came into politics not only knowing that there'd be challenges ahead, but because there were challenges ahead. It just happens some of those challenges have deepened since then. But all it means is that Plaid Cymru has to be even more determined to step up to the plate. Labour's complacency and lack of any real vision for our country is taking us Nowhere. The Conservatives at Westminster show time and time again that they care not one bit about our welfare or what's in Wales's interests. We in Plaid Cymru, the party of all of Wales, have to offer an alternative to the people of Wales, an alternative government that they can trust and believe in. Carnarvon Castle just up the road was one of Edward I's iron ring of castles. You might guess what I'm doing here. <laughs> His idea was to bring the story of Wales to an end, a premature end. And yes, it does say a lot that this Labour government planned to celebrate that iron ring at Flint Castle. But just like the ring was ditched, Labour's rule in Wales will come to an end. <laughs> Labour's rule will end. It's not when. It is when. <laughs> it's always a danger. But we know that it's not perpetual. It is going to happen, and it'll come when we have convinced enough people to put their trust in Plaid Cymru. It really is that simple. Mahim Bwysig, Cofio, and Hannes Vela Cynedl. Ond yn i dyfodol, 
and give up their need. The story of Wales is only just beginning, and we can be the authors of our own destiny. Thank you.